So in this question, we're supposed to create an array with the range of the provided number. So we're gonna get one start variable and other the end variable. So as you can see, we have this start num and end num and we are calling this range of number from zero to five and you have to use recursion. So first of all, uh, we're gonna check the base case first. So obviously the start number has to be less than end number, right? To generate it from start to end. So simple, we're just gonna use our common sense and say if end num is less than start num, then it makes no sense to continue. So this is going to be our base case. If that's the case, then I'm gonna simply return an empty array because there is no chance that we can just generate another array, right? Else, what we can do is we're gonna say const uh, numbers variable and I'm gonna say range of numbers. We're gonna call this function again with start number and end number minus one. So with each iteration, with each recursive call, so if we have end number as five, so uh, it will be four, then three, then two, then one, then eventually zero. So it will go below start number, right? And as soon as that happens, it's gonna return us an empty array. And since this is going to return us an array over here, this numbers will be an array. So I will simply say numbers dot push and push the current element that is the end number. So end num over here, and I'm just gonna return numbers. So you see, how this bottom up approach worked. We went to the very end of the array and then it returned us with an empty array. And then we started adding elements to it in a reverse manner. So we first added one, then two, then three, then four, then five. 